All right, guys, we're back with round one, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Ralph on the left playing Fairies versus Mergeem on the right playing Lightsworn. So this is actually the largest Edison local I've ever had on the channel. We had 28 players. And looks like Ralph. So Mergeem just sets Raiko, and then Ralph is going second, activates Recharge, discards Lila, and Mills Recharge, and Karma Cut. So I think Ralph is playing Fairies, but he's kind of got, like, only the Lightsworn Engine, I think he's only playing like three Lila, three Raiko, and then the recharges and charges. Interesting deck. It's not Christie's one, guys. I don't, th I don't think he's playing JDs and stuff. Anyway, let's see what Mergeem does here. So he's got Normal Summons Gareth. So this is where he like flips Raiko. I think I would have attacked with Gareth first and see if he has Gores and then pop the Raiko. And now he's going to mill two for Gareth, but no draws. Because like now here you just get... I don't know if he has Honest, but... No, he doesn't. He milled both Honest. So, yeah, I think I think Mergeem should have just attacked first and then maybe done this place. Anyway, now, yeah, see, he's not attacking into Gores. So, Ralph, actually, this is only the second time he's been on the channel. I haven't seen him in a while. So, the last time he entered, he made it all the way to top eight with his Rock deck. So, he's back trying to, trying to win this largest Edison, Edison look we've had because... The last one we had was 27. I ended up winning that one. So we'll see. Will I retain the title or will someone take it for the largest the largest Edison tournament? Anyways, Ralph attacks into Raiko for 16 there. But yeah, Ralph has no wins on the channel. Whereas Mergeem does have one. He did win once with this, with like a Chaos Lightsworn, Twilight Lightsworn deck. And what else about Mergeem? He actually, Mergeem's actually pretty consistent, man. He only plays like once a, once a week. He doesn't show up every week, but when he does show up, he usually at least gets into top eight or top four. And he's been in the finals once, and he ended up winning it. So we'll see now that we kind of got the backstory out of the way. Let's get focused more on the duels. So Mergeem averages all his monsters, so the only thing he has in his grave is what? Foolish and Avarice. Anyway, since Mergeem is playing a Twilight version, I think he's only playing one Avarice. We've seen some people popularize some... Content creators popularized Triple Avarice in the Pure Life Sworn deck. But in this deck, there's just no way. You need your graveyard for, like, I think he's playing, like, Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Armed. Anyway, he summons Arcus. I know the previous week, Mergeem was playing Dark Arm. I don't know if he cut it, because when he and I played round one, I actually played him round one the week before, and this man dropped JD and Dark Arm on me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think he goes Celestia, JD, then Dark Arm. Anyways, Ralph grabs back Gareth, not, sorry, not Gareth, get, grabs back Orange Light off of, thanks to the Alk. Now, Mergeem's going to mill Honest, Cal Sorcerer, and now mills two for Gareth, mills Recharge, and and uh, Monster Reincarnation. So, no draws from Gareth again. All right, what's life? So, they got the life points there, so it might be a little bit harder to see. But I always prefer the players keep track of the life points because I make mistakes. Because I can't tell when people attack. Anyways, here comes Nova Summoner crash into Gareth. Usually when they start ramming their their angels, you know Christy is about to come in. Come down. A little bit I want to talk about this matchup. It's actually a matchup I don't really... I don't get to see this matchup often on the channel because... We only have Mergeem is probably like the, one of the only players at my locals who plays pure lights That's why I feature him a lot. It's just because he's the only one playing pure lights worn, and then fairies only like a few people. So yeah, I'm glad that that's why I definitely this was an easy choice for me picking these two for the feature round one, just because of their decks. Because I really want to see this matchup. Two decks that have done well. I mean, I think. It was Christy Sworn made it to the finals of an online RBT, and Light Sworn just got second recent, like the latest online RBT. So two just very, very strong decks, but not not really like t they're not as popular as like Bayou Turbo or Black Wings, but still strong decks. Anyway, now let's get to the duel. So you know Ralph's got Orange Light. So what is Mergeem debating? He knows he has to play around Orange Light, or try to, but it's hard, man. That card is so good. I mean, that card was good in Advanced Yu-Gi-Oh! And the, from what I was told, people were playing that in, like, Tier Limit format, for those of you guys who may know. 
which was a tier zero format. So that's how you know that card was ahead of its time. Herald of Orange Light. Anyway, Mergeen with the Allure. I wonder how many darks he plays in this deck. Let's see. Chaos Sorcerer, Necro, Plague is three. Maybe like two DD Crows is five. Dark Arm, six. Maybe a random Kaya is seven. So he's got a few darks. Trying to speed up his deck. I get it. Maybe there's some other darks I'm missing. Maybe he's playing Phantom of Chaos. I remember my friend Joey Dibble used to main deck that card. Anyways, here Mergeem tributes to Arcus for Celestia. Mills, Necro, Wolf, and Caius. Pays the cost. Targets the Christia and the the Alk. And here he discards Honest and Orange Light negates Celestia's effect. So obviously Garoth is not going to trigger because Celestia is paying the cost. So here he attacks over Dialk for what, 550? What did he grab back? Was it another Nova Summoner? Oh, I see Wolf. So Mergeem's hands like Wolf, Ryko. I saw those two cards in his hand. My guess is I think... I think Ralph is favored in this matchup because he has orange light. Like, he can drop a Christia to stop Mergeem. And Mergeem's outs are Ryko and Honest, which he can stop with orange light. So, m looking at this matchup, I think Ralph is favored. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Wh which deck do you think is favored in this matchup? My guess is uh, the Fairy deck is favored. Anyways, he heavies his heavy. <laughs> Okay, Gareth attacks into Nova Summoner, and it looks like Ralph. Ralph with the shades? How can you duel with shades on, man? <laughs> so Ralph, Ralph uh, drops Honest on the Nova Summoner. So here, Mergeen probably set the Ryko we saw in his hand, and now he's going to Ryko the Christia, and Ralph with another orange light, and it hits him for 14. So yes, take off the... Yeah, he hit with Christia, I believe. Or no, maybe not. Maybe No, he attacked with Nova Summoner and then hits him directly with Christia. So Mergeen with another Raikou. Okay, so here comes another Nova Summoner. So if you think he has another Raikou, you hit with Christia, right? Yeah, because then that's... Mills Crow, Lila, and Good Goblin Housekeeping... Yeah, because this is game if Mergeem doesn't have, like, Gores or anything. But he has Trag, so that buys him some time. All right, Ralph left with one card in hand. Switches. Oh, no. So he uh, Ralph kind of messed up. He was supposed to attack with the other one, the one he normal summoned first. That's a small error, though. Like, I could see, I could see a lot of people making that mistake. That's just really unfortunate. Anyway, he recharges the wolf, mills gores, and another good goblin housekeeping. I think that's the name of that card. So he normals Lumina, and Ralph lets it go through, discard Aaron. His Miraculous Descent. Takes the Nova Summoner with Trag. I think, does he have JD in his hand? Okay, JD. But what does he do with JD? Attacks for 16. I think they, I think they might have messed up life points. Because here, Mer can Mergeen pay 1,000? I think maybe Ralph has the life points wrong. Yeah, I think he does. Because he need. Yeah, he attacks over the orange light and then attacks him for 14. Maybe, maybe Ralph missed something. Let's see if he takes it off. Oh, no, he did. Okay, yeah, he, he did hit him for 14. So, yeah, uh, Mergeen cannot pay for Judgment Dragon. And I think he's going to deck out right here. Yeah, he's going to deck out and he scoops. So, yeah, Ralph wins by deck out. Uh, may maybe Mergeen could have maybe done something different. I'm trying to think what he could have done. Maybe just not bring out the JD. 
yeah, maybe he could have not brought out the JD. And I think he probably probably maybe wins that game. But then he was going to deck. Maybe he would deck out eventually anyway. Because Plague was gone. But anyway, game two, Mergeem sets a monster and Ralph passes. So now are you afraid of Gores? Okay, so he summons Lila, attack. So if that's Raiko, then he's playing around it here, seeing if Ralph's going to drop drop Gores. But he doesn't. He mills two Lighthorns already, Garoth and Jane, two different names. Lila, and if that's a Raiko, that's four. Okay, so Ralph crashes for 300. Now, Nova Summoner is going to grab what? What is he grabbing? He's going to crash. This this thing, this looks like he's just going to drop Christian. <laughs> ah, man, I hate playing this fairy deck. I've lost to it a bunch of times and with Frog, so this deck gives me nightmares. Because some of you guys know, I, I played frogs for a long time. And for, I don't know, I just, I struggle against fairies, man. Okay, so he grabs D-Alk. D-Alk's effect pumps up a Christia. So already you can get Christia if, if Mergeem gets rid of that D-Alk. And Ralph sets two and passes. So here, Mergeem can pop one of the back rows with Lila. Let's see. Flips Raiko. Targets one of the back rows. Oh, man. I don't know about this because you could have made the d miss timing. And here, Ralph's going to chain Miraculous Descent. He's going to bring back Christia, and then Christia's going to go on top of his deck. I kind of had to read that that's what Ralph set. So... Like, I, I probably would have popped one. It, it, didn't, it wouldn't have mattered. But at least at least this way, Ralph, the Christie goes on top of his deck and not to his hand. So it's not too bad. Because if it was in his hand, he gets the Christie in his hand and he gets a, a, another draw. All right, so now Ralph is drawing the Christia and he r reminds him to mill three. Yeah, that was a weird situation. I don't know what I don't know what I would have done there. And now he pumps, hits Trag. That's a good one. In case, yeah, in case uh he somehow deals with Christia, so now he pumps again. And hits over Ryko for what 16. And then hits over Lila. And now if you deal with those D out, because I'm gonna have four fairies for Christia. And I'm going to get a track to my hand. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for Ralph, man. Ooh, there's JD. Does he have no orange light? Oh, wow. And he adds back both Trag and... Now, will Ralph drop the Trag? I think he is. And then you're going to force... Yeah, you're going to force Mergeem to pay 1000 Otherwise, he could take your JD by ditching Christia. Yeah, he can maybe, like, ditch Christia, and if he has another one, then drop Christia, and he has your JD at the same time. <laughs> Scary, man. Anyway, Mergeen mills Wolf, Necro. Oh, what a mill. Necro and Wolf. Now, we kind of know, we know Ralph does not have Orange Light, because I think, would he have Orange Light at the JD? Mm, I don't know. Maybe he wouldn't. No, he probably would have orange lighted whenever he tried to blow up the track, at least. But he had four fairies. I, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Would he have orange lighted there? Probably not because he needs the four fairies. Anyway, here comes Dialk. Pumps up for solar recharge. So he should have four fairies right now. But how is he going to deal with that JD? He doesn't have Honest. And Ralph Scoop. So, yeah, he th that's what I was thinking. He probably should have. If he had the orange light, he probably would have orange lighted the JD. Just based on his hand. So, Mergeen forces the third game. We'll see who's going to move on with this round one win. Largest Edison local for Epic Card in the games. 28. My goal is to one day hit 33. Because then we'll have eight rounds total instead of seven. Anyways, Mergeen with uh, Aaron. Hits. Uh, yeah. It's it's I think it's a Ryko, so he's still good. It'll still flip and pop the Aaron. So 
So flip pop, he's going to mill, and then it'll shuffle back. Is that how it works? I don't remember. Okay, so he mills Raiko, Honest, and what was the other card he milled? Raiko, Honest, yeah. So already two fairies for Ralph. Maybe Mergeem opened kind of slow with just Aaron was probably like the only monster. Maybe he really needed that mill. So here, Ralph special summon Soul of Purity and Light. Attacks for 2000. I wonder if, if Mergeem sided out Gores and Trag. That's something pop people probably never side out. But I tend to side out those cards. Gore sometimes. If I I am playing as a Christia deck, because I don't want to I don't want to have Gores in my hand staring down Christia. <laughs> Anyways, Mergeem. Heavies the Miraculous Descent, and then he's gonna grab back Honest. Oh, this is really that's that's this is great for Ralph. Anyway, here he crows. So he must have like a Chaos Sorcerer or something. Yeah. So he just Randomly crows, bring out Chaos Sorcerer, banish the Soul of Purity and Light. Does Ralph have the Orange Light? I think he does. He's de He definitely has it, so he's debating on using it or not. But he lets it go through. And here he hits He hits Ralph for 17. We'll see if that comes back to bite him. Oh, he had Gores. Yeah, that's probably why he let the Chaos Sorcerer go through. Okay, anyways... Oh, that's a Scott Page. <laughs> that's my good friend Scott Page's, I think, college ID. Shout out to Scott Page. I'm trying to get him. Scott Page, if you're watching, come get play some medicine at least once, man. Scott Page is a YCS champion. Won three, YCS Las Vegas 3v3 in 2020. One of my good friends. He taught me a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyways, uh, here, Ralph charges for Raiko. Let's see, what else? So he's got Aaron, Lila, what's the other one? Raiko, right? Aaron, Lila, Raiko. So right now he can deal with Mergeem's field. The token, what's life points? He can also run over the Lila and drop Honest if he, if he has game. Like he can like switch the token, attack, call priority, drop Honest on the, depending on the rest of his hand. I don't know the rest of Ralph's hand, but like, yeah, he summons his own Lila, so that that is uh, 400 right there. And then he can do like 34, or he can just crash. And Mergeem's going to drop his Honest. So this is a situation where Ralph could have called priority. So this is like, you got to ask, if you're in, in the Honest battle, let's see if Ralph just lets it go through. But he can just Honest him here, so it's the same thing, if he really wants to. This is why anytime you play against a light, like a lot of my opponents, they'll always ask me, like, damage anything. Like, anyways, uh, Ralph Mills, Kale Sorcerer, Aaron. Yo, okay, so I think Ralph, Ralph's deck's interesting, man. It's like Chaos Fairies with the, like, the full recharges and charge. I like it, man. This is a deck I would like to play for fun. Anyways, Ralph, not Ralph, Mergeem sets one, Mills, Lumina, MST, and. Ever. So I'm guessing he he kept it MST and heavy to stop the miraculous descents. Because I think Christia just destroys. Oh, so this is the combo right here. Golsar Christia, and then either A, get it back with Dimensional Alchemist, or B, bring it back with Miraculous Descent. Man, I don't This deck looks nice, man. Shout out to Ralph for com coming to the locals with this deck. Ralph's playing the Spice. Last time he came in with the... Uh, with the rock deck. Anyways, here he mirror forces Delilah. Oh man, Ralph's gonna regret not popping that back row with Lila. He probably thought it was nothing. Cause I get it. Like game, but did we see the mirror force game one? I think we did see he milled it. So you still gotta be afraid of it. But Ralph probably I can see why he didn't. He's probably expecting a um like a good goblin housekeeping or something. Anyway, Ralph flips Raiko, targets Lila, Mills, Honest, Nova Summoner, and Herald of Orange Light. What's left in Mergeem's hand? Pokes him for 200. So Mergeem's going to go look if he has Necro. 
now passes. Yeah, Mergeem's got how many? Mergeem's got like three cards in hand. Like I said, guys, let me know in the comments which deck is favorite. My guess is I think, I think the fairy deck is favored in this matchup. Even though Mergeem maybe could have won that first game. Had he played things a little bit differently? Whenever whenever Ralph had... I'm not saying it was an easy move because Ralph did have a back row. But I'm just saying he maybe could have played that whole... That whole ending differently to where, to where he doesn't deck out. That's the thing. If you're playing Lights 1, sometimes you got to pay attention to that. Pay attention to how many, like how many cards are left in your deck. Anyway, Mergeem summons Honest. Does he have Plague? Oh, man. Mergeem is taking a while looking at his hand. Oh, yeah. This, the, 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 for this, I think Mergeem would probably get in trouble. Some people would call him out for taking too long to make a move here. But it's locals. But, like, I'm just saying, because at a big tournament, if a judge is watching you and you take this long... You could get a game loss for that. But it's it's rare when they're watching, especially for Edison. It's not like we're playing, you know, current Yu-Gi-Oh. There's usually like one judge for a bunch of people. So, But I'm just, I'm just saying it could happen. And maybe if you're in the finals, then there is a judge sitting next to you. Oh, yeah, Mergeem, damn, damn, you definitely took way too long for this one. This is like Donnell level slow. <laughs> yeah, this is this might be worse. This is worse than Donnell. Okay, so Mergeem attacks for 900. <laughs> I can't believe I said Don, Donnell. <laughs> I'm just throwing Donnell under the bus for no reason. But anyway, Ralph grabs back to Christia. Has it been two turns already? Really? That gold start went fast. But, I mean, he had the dice on it, so. Ooh, soul release. That's a good side deck card in Ralph's deck because he can turn either A... Banish all of Mergeem's Light Sworns or turn on his Christia. I think someone was telling me that's why they side that card in this deck. And he could turn on his Miraculous Descent. He could turn on his Dialk. Man, I'm impressed. This, Ralph, Ralph is cooking today, man. And here he drops Christia. Yep, here comes Christia. What's he going to grab back? Is he going to grab back any? I think you have to. I think it's mandatory to grab something back. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's mandatory. I remember I came up once. Yeah, so he grabs back the Alk. Pumps up Alchemist. Attacks. So this is not game uh, attack. So I think Ralph leaves him where he can't break control. So here comes Recharge, Discard, Wolf, Mills, Bottomless, and Lila. So I think Mergeem has Honest. What does he have? Ryko set? Yeah, he has Ryko, another Wolf. So he redrew a Wolf, so it sets Ryko. Let's see. Does Ralph have Orange Light? He pumps up. So he's expecting a Raikou. Does he have Orange Light? And he does have Orange Light, and that is game. So Ralph is moving on with a round one win. Hope you guys enjoyed that match, and we'll be back soon for the rest of this large 28-man local, Edison local. Bye, guys.